Hey, my name is Eric, and in this video, we're going to help you find your iPhone. We're going to be working off of this article from Apple uh, and taking you through a few different steps. Really, it comes down to two paths that you're going to take depending on if Find My iPhone is enabled. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to this website, iCloud.com forward slash find. So when you go to that site, I'm going to show you first what happens if you do not have this enabled on your phone. Um, and then we'll next go through what you should do if you do have it enabled. So you're going to log in and I'm going to skip the login screen here and show you what it looks like when it's not enabled. So as you can see, it says all devices are offline. Uh, so in this particular case, you do not have the app enabled. So let's go through the next steps of what you need to do in this scenario. If you do have this enabled, you're gonna have all sorts of options, which we will cover later in the video. So um, now that we're here, uh, let's go to the next steps. The very next step you want to do is to change your password on your iCloud settings. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back to this main article and it says you can change your Apple ID password. Uh, so I'm going to click that here and it's going to open up here. If you're on a Mac, you can open up your Apple ID account page. So that's going to look something like this. I'll log in again. So right now it's going to want to do two factor authentication. So if your iPhone is missing, of course, you're not going to have that right there. So um, if you didn't get a verification code, uh, what you can do is there's more options here and you can verify your phone number that is associated with your Apple ID. So what you can do is you can choose this option here because your device is offline and you have a couple different options here. I'm going to show you on the Mac, uh, assuming that's probably what's missing, um, but you can go to the other option as well. So Apple menu system preferences, iCloud. So we're going to go up here. So we're going to click on iCloud. We're going to click on account details. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to security. And this is where you can get a verification code on another device uh, right here. Okay. I'm going to copy this. Paste that there. So you can see now that I am into my iCloud account uh, without having uh, my actual iPhone. This is how you can add your verification. So the next thing we're going to do is you would click change password. And I'm not going to go through this right here. Obviously, you know how to do that. So after you've changed your Apple ID password, you're going to want to change the password for other internet accounts on your device. And you're also going to want to report it lost or stolen to local law enforcement. And you can find your device serial number on this article. I will uh, put this in the description and on the screen right now. So this article will walk you through, and I'll put this on the screen, um, how to find the serial number for various devices, um, depending on uh, what is missing, if you want to find that serial number. That's about where you're at. If you do not have Find iPhone enabled, uh, that's going to be the steps that you're going to want to take. So now let's take a look at some of the features if you do have it enabled and what you can do with your phone. So as you can see right now, it is enabled for me. Uh, there's a few things you can do here. If you click on the dot and the I button here, um, of course you can play a sound on your uh, phone or your device that's missing, but you can also go into lost mode. So when you click lost mode, um, enter the phone number where you can be reached. It'll be shown on this iPhone. So uh, why don't we go with the standard 867-5309 and I'm gonna click next. And what I'm going to do is put a message on here um, and show you what it looks like on the screen. I'll put the little screenshot of what it looks like. So once it is in lost mode, all somebody can do on this screen is call you to return the device or make an emergency phone call. So I'm going to go back. Um, I'm going to click stop lost mode and you can receive updates on email updates, which is nice too, on the location of this iPhone if it changes. So I'm going to click stop lost mode. Okay. And then your last option here, um, and this one's, you know, if you have reached your limits, is you can erase your iPhone. So none of your private information is going to get shared with anybody. So hopefully this tutorial will help you find your lost or unfortunately stolen device if that's the case. Uh, but if you have found this tutorial helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I appreciate your support and good luck to you. I really, really hope you find that device. All right, take care.